Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the LibTech Rad Ripper. This board features good old fashioned traditional camber. I know, in a LibTech, crazy. But from contact point to contact point, you have that arc of traditional camber. That is gonna give you all the load pop, snap, and drive out of this board. This board is available in a 153, a 156, and a 159. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was mostly bluebird, then turned to gray with a storm rolling in. You had chop, chunder, perfect corduroy, some leftover hot pow, average temps, and I rode it with my Rome Black label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board is a stiffer twin. You will feel that right away. And it also has a reverse flex. That means stiffer tips, softer through the middle. You're gonna notice that there is a tiny sweet spot in the nose and the tail. It's very small, but that is probably the softest section of the board. Now the torsional flex is very rigid. There is a lot of torsional rigidity to this. That's a term I haven't used in years. And it's the only way to describe this. Like when you go to twist this board to ankle steer it, you feel it and it respawns and rebounds abruptly. It's a very quick response to it. Now, when it comes to the stability of this board, the width, the fact that it's full camber and the core profiling of it give you a damp, smooth ride that is still lively. This board will cut through chop and crust and everything. It'll skip over anything in its path and not falter. You do not really feel any chatter with this board. It just wants to charge and absorb it and keep on going on its way. It's a very smooth, stable, damp, and lively ride. Four things you normally don't all get at once, but with this, you do. There's an aggressive camber to this board and you have to aggressively load it up and push into the tail way out at the start of the up kick to get it to rebound. And when you do, you're gonna boost. But if you don't, you're not doing shit. Seriously, all gas, no brakes with this board. More speed and more power are your friend. You wanna be laid back and think you're still gonna get that boost? You're not. You need to be going at speed to get it to engage. And when you go to the jump line, small, medium, yeah, sure, whatever, okay, fine. This thing wants to go to the bigger features. The bigger, the better. This has a ton of boost off the lip. You're gonna feel it getting you up in the air. It really wants to pop. It wants to send it deeper. It wants to send it further. So, you know, be aware of that. If you're a lazy rider, this is probably gonna be too much for you. All right, why don't you click like, why don't you subscribe, and why don't you click the bell? That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. You know you wanna stay on this channel. We have so much programming for you. It's a stiff cambered board. It's gonna take more effort than you think to get this to butter. The micro sweet spot out in the nose and the tail is where you ideally wanna have your weight way leveraged out over and pushing into it. When you do, it's gonna fight you. You're gonna get a ton of snap out of it. It's a little bit easier in powder just because of the abrupt kick in the nose and the tail. So if you like pop a 180 press into the nose, get your weight way out, it's gonna be a little easier. It's still gonna wanna snap right out on you. Same thing with the tail. If you're just thinking like you're gonna be cruising, pop an ollie, land way back on the tip and try to get it way up, still gonna fight you. That translates over to jibbing. This is not a board that I would actively want to go jib with. Sure, it can handle like high speed, tail presses, nose presses, and board slides. That's about it. You're trying to get a little more technical. You better be a competent rider because if you're not, it's gonna buck you. When you're pressing on that nose or the tail, you're putting so much weight leveraged way out on it and that camber is fighting you the whole time. So if you hit anything with a kink, it's probably gonna slap down on you. And when you go sideways, there's a slight cradle to the camber and that's pretty much just the natural arc of it when you come down. Otherwise, basically doing that balance board effect on it. In case you haven't caught on, it's kind of a stiffer twin. Oh my God. This board is a blast to carve with. You have camber, you have a stiffer flex, you have no magnet traction, just a good old fashioned side cut and it rails turns. 
I found myself keeping this thing on edge just so that I could drive it from the middle back through the tail and get that power and snap out of the turn. Short, tight, quick carves and medium, mellow carves take a little bit more effort than other boards out there. You're gonna notice that. You're not really ankle steering as easily as you could, but when you're doing those deep, hard, aggressive carves at speed, this thing will just lay over. It is absolutely amazing. Do not sleep on this board if you want to go rip a hard, aggressive turn when you're cutting through the park and you're going around a family of fat skiers. Lay it over. Drag that armpit and nipple on the ground and point at them the whole time. Make that eye contact with them. Blow their daughter a kiss. Maybe their mother. Maybe their grandmother. I don't know. Blow everyone a kiss. Blow the dad a kiss. Let them know you are better than them because you are riding this board. Rider in mind. This board is for the high-end freestyle rider that is gonna hit everything on the mountain with speed and power and wants good old-fashioned camber underfoot. Like what we're doing over here? Wanna support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. I don't say this lightly. This board has been missing from LibTech's lineup. Just a good old fashioned high end camber twin. This board is absolutely amazing. It rides with purpose and forcefulness. You can be laid back with it when you want to if you grew up riding old school cambered boards like this. If you didn't, you're probably going to die. Do not die. This thing is a blast. I did not want to get off of it after I had been on it for about three laps. I spent more time on this board than I probably should have because I was enjoying it so much. This is such a good board. Comparable boards, the Rosinal Juggernaut, the K2 Hypnotist, the Capita Outsiders. Binding recommendations, the Bent Metal Transfer, the Rome DOD, the Union Force. This has been my review of the LibTech Rad Ripper. If you don't feel this is the board for you, why don't you go check out one of our other reviews from our library of decks? You know you want to. We've got so many reviews for you.